Hey guys, Tony Soy Sasa Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, part of Chasing the Dragon, we're doing another double review. This time, it's gonna be Gurkha Yield the Dragon by Oliva Cigar. Without further ado, we'll go straight look at the cigar. Gurkha Yield the Dragon 2024 by Oliva is six and a half by 60. $25 per stick, just like every other stick that's in this whole collection. This size, I would say, is somewhat like a Solomon. Box of 10, $250. Wrapper is Mexican San Andreas. Binder is Cameroon. And filler is Nicaraguan. I, which I don't understand why they're making this one because they Oliva made their own Yield of Dragon for Asian market, just not this one. So I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand, but let's not waste time. Actually, just smells woodsy. Doesn't smell like anything crazy. All right. Obviously, you can't taste, can't do any draw because this little tiny thing in the front. It's just cocoa, raisin, woodsy, maybe. Light's funny. Needs a little help. Oh, okay. Salty, nutty, spice. Chocolate. Salty. Nutty, spicy, chocolate, coffee. A little bit of dankiness. Oh, that chili spice. That's a chili spice. Because of the chili spice, it kind of ends in some sort of like a like metallic taste. Maybe a little bit like nutmeg with some sort of spice mix. But yeah, that's all I got right now. Go to one third, 
I'll be right back. All right, first third, I'm gonna dust this off. So the flavor reminds me of like Oliva G, but with a little bit of dankiness, with a little bit of saltiness. And it also kind of like the flavor kind of just all of a sudden died when I was reaching second. Like you die down, the body of the flavor just died down. You still get that dankiness. You still get a little bit of that nuttiness, but everything else kind of like not there. You know, just air, smoke, you know, it's, it's not very well expressed, I think. Strength about medium, but the body isn't there. I don't know. It's not looking good. But then again, if I say Oliva lose flavor, like, are you surprised? Oliva does taste good, but Oliva G and stuff like that losing flavor is kind of normal. Kind of normal. And then the cigar kind of cracked a little bit too, but we'll see. Let me get the spin off. There you go. By Oliva Cigar. You know, which is kind of weird because they, they usually just say Oliva. To say by Oliva Cigar is kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah. We'll quickly enter the second third to the band. And then, yeah, you can see like it starts to just explode on this line. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage. I still can smoke it. Get to the band. And we're going to come back. Be right back. Okay, so we are second third. Because it's taper, you got to see different sizes. But second third, the strain probably dropped down to close to a mi mile. Um, the selections of the flavor has dropped down as well. You got a little bit of pepper, a little bit of spice. Very, very, very light. Got grand cracker. And um, a little bit of like nutmeg or something like that. Some mixed spice. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's, it's not a lot for 25. There's, there's no way. That's not a lot. Yeah, grain cracker, a little bit of like a weird nutmeg driven spice mix, pepper. Um, yeah, that that chocolate in the beginning just pretty much died. Like, you know, I don't taste it much. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. That's that's where it goes. Uh, you know, you would think that the taper down should give something more, but the taper down actually gave us something less. Nope, nope, nope. So yeah, let me get to the last third. But before that, let me show you the band. It's basically any other Gurkha Yield the Dragon band, but this time it's in orange. Let me see if they say anything different on it. Nope, still Gurkha. Just orange band, like that. I still like this band. This band still do look nice. Look at all that holographic thing. But besides that, it needs more. It needs more. Let's hope that last third kind of drives back. Then maybe we can have something. If not, this is probably one of the worst in there. Be right back. All right. Last third. So last third basically tastes like an Oliva G. Relaxed, mild, not much going on. You get some taste. Grand Cracker. A little bit of sweetness, still a little bit, just a tiny pep, tiny, 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 tiny amount of pepper. Pretty much what I got. Now, because Eric been bitching about me not doing the way he does it, so let's do it the way he does it. All right. Um, let's go the way I will do it first. I will rate the cigar. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. How much I feel comfortable for this cigar? It's not that amazing. It's not that specific. It's not that exclusive in terms of flavor. That's what I got. All right. So back to how Eric would rate his construction. Seven. Burn. Six and a half. 
What else did he do? Uh, construction flavor, uh, uh, construction burn, and and smoke uh, output is roughly a five. I rate this. I rate the cigar a five point five point seven. Five point seven. All right. There you go. So yeah. That was it for this particular review. Make sure to uh, also check out, you know, uh, the double review with Eric. Smoke one if you have one. Um, 5.7 is a no-go. <laughs> so that will be it, all right? Okay, that was, that's it for this uh, particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. We got a podcast. Um, other than that, check out Eric. All that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.